Hi YouTube, it's me Sarah. Just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. Um, currently on the sixth day of my cycle and the second day of the Clomid. Um, some of the side effects that I've gotten this cycle have been the forgetfulness, I guess, what you would call a side effect, the forgetfulness. I know it's TMI, but I was in the shower and it's like I dazed off for a second and I forgot that I already had washed my hair and I snapped out of it and started rewashing it again. It's like, I don't know what the hell, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. So I don't know if that's a side effect that, you know, anybody else has had. But it freaked me out for a second. But besides that, um, just the headaches. I've gotten headaches last cycle and this cycle they're happening again. So... I'm hoping that they don't last the whole time, but right now I have a headache and I keep freaking saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> forgive me. Um, besides that, I wanted to share also with you guys, you know, who are following me. Um, about 26 years ago, my mom took Clomid to have me. And she took Clomid 32 years ago to have my brother. So, you know, it runs in the family, like, I think this whole infertility problem that I'm having. Um, my sister, she has kids. She doesn't have nothing, you know, no fertility problem. My brother, he has kids. There's nothing wrong with him. So I don't know if it's just, you know, it skipped a generation or what, you know, like my mom, then she had her kid and nothing. And then she had her next kid. Yeah. Got something. And then my sister, nothing. So, um, you know, this whole time my mom has been, you know, on my side and helping me with this journey and trying to keep me positive through everything because, you know, there's times where I just get down, like, it's been over two years and nothing, you know, and I try not to think about it. There's times where I never even think about having a baby, ever, and it still doesn't happen. So for people who come on here and start saying, oh, you know, just, you know, don't be stressed out. Don't think about it and it'll happen. That's not necessarily true. Even when you don't think about it, when it's not even the back of your mind and you're not stressed out, it doesn't always happen. It's your body. And if your body, if there's something wrong with your body and you're not being able to produce eggs or you're just not ovulating, then... You saying to me that, oh, just be calm and you're young and it'll happen. No, it doesn't always work that way. So women who are out there who judge other women based on their infertility, that's wrong. Um, besides that whole, sorry about this whole <laughs> me getting angry about that issue. Um, you know, like I said, I just hope that this is a cycle you know, with the Clomid. This is going to be my second time. I really don't want to have to go through it another cycle. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be selfish and say that, you know, it better happen this cycle. You know, I don't want to do it any longer. But it's just been a long journey for me, you know. I mean, I'm willing to go as long as I have to, but you always don't want to have to. You just wish it will happen then when, you know, when you want it. Um... Besides that, um, oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Hurricane Melissa 25. Um, I've been following her journey for a little while. I just barely subscribed to her, but um, her sister is having gallbladder surgery, and she herself just has gallbladder surgery. So I just wanted to give her a shout out to her sister since I know she's pregnant and having the surgery, and that could be very scary. So I just want to wish her a safe, you know, recovery and that. She, she's fine and nothing is wrong with the baby and you know she, they're both healthy and everything went well so um, I hope everything went well with that and I also want to give a shout out to all the other women who are following me and who I'm following um, just you know I wish you guys all baby dust and I hope this is your cycle and you know you guys get your big BFPs and everything works out well um, sorry if I'm rambling um, this is like the fifth video I've done because I'm like rambling on every one of them. Um, besides that, I will just give you guys, you know, an update as soon as after I take the Clomid and, you know, I'm a little bit further in my cycle and let you guys know, you know, if I've ovulated and through the whole OPKs again. 
So to then you guys just, you know, stay tuned and you know, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um I'm o I'm open, you know. I I'm willing to answer anybody's questions if they have anything about, you know, my journey or anything about me. So just let me know. Until then, you know, I'll keep you guys updated. Just keep watching for my new videos. All right? Bye YouTube.